Hello, I'm Amy Zaley with the Friday Red Alert Report, March 25th, the Jerusalem Connection. Update on federal level legislation against BDS. Senate Democrats, led by Harry Reid, have now issued a rare but public opposition to the Obama administration, particularly Obama's refusal to support strong bipartisan legislation passed by both the House and the Senate to disengage with any um, entity in trade negotiations that are specifically seeking BDS activities, that is boycott, divest, and sanction Israel in an attempt to delegitimize it or economically punish it. Specifically, the Dems have voiced that Obama's decision not to implement these provisions in a trade law, trade law that instructs U.S. negotiators and business interests to resist doing business with entities that actually seek to punish the state of Israel, specifically engaging in boycott, divestment, and sanctions, known as BDS, that have been internationally recognized as anti-Semitic activities. Obama's rejection of in his mind, is that um, Israel also includes in its economic activities the areas of Judea and Samaria, where he says they are illegitimately settled, even occupied. However, the Democrat senators disagree with Obama's position on this, as he is, they claim, politicizing and even inserting policy into this law, which is not the case. The law is generated to tell you, instruct U.S. negotiators and business interests not to engage in economic agreements that would hurt, specifically target to hurt the state of Israel. It has nothing to do with the particular policy issues and negotiations ongoing regarding these settlement um, areas that under debate. In the signing a statement on when, two Wednesdays ago, Obama said that he intended to interpret the law in a manner that does not interfere with his constitutional ability to conduct diplomacy. But the senators are saying that this is a mischaracterization of the provisions. The senator's response are, is as follows, and I'm quoting, This is simply not the case. The provisions are aimed at countering commercial actions, aimed at delegitimizing Israel and pressuring Israel into unilateral concessions outside the bounds of direct Israeli-Palestinian negotiations. Therefore, it's two separate things and should not be mixed together. So at both the state levels and the federal level, both sides of our political aisles, people who disagree with each other on political philosophies and ways of doing things here in America, are agreeing on one thing. BDS has no place within American businesses, American institutions, and American financial uh, entities. It is discriminatory and anti-Semitic and anti-American. It's interesting that President Obama, who is part of the Democrat Party, who have consistently espoused that they are there to champion the rights of all minorities, all special interest groups, regardless of ethnicity, color, race, creed, religion, sexual orientation, are seemingly pointing out to hurt or somehow cause pain on the only nation in the Middle East that actually does protect all these minorities. Women, a homosexual community, um, Christians, Muslim, Jew, Yusidi, Druze, atheists even, that the very people that we espouse to have their freedom of expression and right to pursue happiness here in America are not being allowed to do in many places in the Middle East. Only under Israel do they have these rights. Israel is the only nation in the Middle East with a separate judiciary arm and representative government. And yet it seemingly is the recipient of the most condemnation from the Obama administration, the UN, the EU, and other entities around the world. This is where we must speak up, and we must combat this viewpoint. Israel is a blessing to the Middle East and a blessing to the world, and we can't allow bias or prejudice to seep into the everyday activities at the state, local, and federal level of doing business and conducting ourselves as Americans and citizens of the world. Shavuotov, have a great week. Shabbat Shalom.